in our generation today, we don't know how much we need God. This, our generation, does not know how much they need God until the situation is critical. Many of us are here today. You can think of situation that brought us together. We don't know how much we need God. I'm just going to take a second. I just want to just share what I'm experiencing and what I'm thinking. I'm hearing TB Joshua he starting. He started the sermon off with, you don't know how much you need God. And I think it's so true, especially in the current generation we're in, where everything's about social media. Everything's about fast, fast, go, go. And at the same time, it's also about going nowhere because we spend a lot of times with our face in our phones and it's easily to go from day to day and you don't you don't even think about how much you need God I agree with what he's saying we don't know how much we need God I love this sermon because it reminds me how much I really need God I need God just getting out of bed every morning I need God so let's continue if what you are here for is issue you can handle you will not bother to come here you say I can do it. You are forgotten you need God to smile. You need God to close your eyes and to open your eyes. You need God to dress. You have seen people mere dress up like this, they, they collapse and die. We have read where a colleague just open eyes and close is gone. You need God to sit down. We have seen people, may I sit in, that is the end of life. And we have seen people just may I stand in and he collapse. Tell your neighbor, I need God to smile, to dance, to look, to sleep, to eat, to say thank you, to stretch my hand, to dress up. I need God. I know how much I need God. to cut off your duty to him. You know, you have duty. Your duty to him. And what are you talking about? Unfaithfulness occupy your heart. Disobedient. You see God in the bad lies. Say, I know. Jesus, no. Three. To cut you off. Your communion with God. Your word. Well, I fast and I pray. What else again? What do I need to do next? Yes. Your communion with God. These are the great testing Satan is aiming at. I just want to pause it right there. He, he's saying something that is just hitting me um, personally because he's saying you don't know how much you need God. And now he's saying Satan's whole goal is to break our communion with God, to break our daily connection with God. That's why the Bible says that we need our daily bread. We cannot live on just food alone or drink alone. We need our daily bread. Our daily bread is the word of God. And Satan wants to do anything he could do to destroy that with with distractions, our phones, our jobs, everything he's just trying to use to break our communion with God. And that's why it's important that we have that meditation in our hearts. Take more of me, give me more of you. Take more of me, give me more of you. Oh, Holy Spirit, take more of me, give me more of you. 
because we don't know how much we need God. We need Him to stand up, to put on our glasses, to put in our contacts, to raise our hands, to work out, to get in our cars, to drive. Everything, every activity we do on a daily basis, we need God. And I love this message once again because it, it reminds us how much we truly need God. So let me continue on with uh, some more of this wonderful sermon by Prophet T.B. Joshua. We must be careful in entering into temptation. But if God permits it, we must not think it strange and doubt our guide. And this is challenging we are facing in the church today. When you look at how many times in churches today the name Jesus is mentioned, compare the name Satan is mentioned, you see Satan's name is mentioned more than the name Jesus. The name Satan is mentioned more than the name Jesus who is our Savior. Little time, Satan, 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 or the time, Satan, Satan. It's so true. I, I've ran into, and I've been guilty of this myself. We find ourselves saying, ah, Satan's attacking me. The enemy's out to get me. Everywhere I turn, it's bad. It's evil. I, I wake up in the morning and I just know what kind of days it's going to be. And we forget that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ is our, is our reason for breathing, for living, and that He alone can help us to make it every day from point A to point B. It's Him alone. We need Him. We don't remember. We don't know how much we need Him. And because of that, a lot of times because of our communion with God is not very strong, guess what? We blame everything on Satan. We're, we're saying Satan's name more than we're saying Jesus Christ. And I agree with Prophet T.B. Joshua. This shouldn't be so. Don't what? Don't tempt the devil to what? Again? I can hear you. Yes, don't tempt the devil to tempt you. Let us beware of spiritual pride, which has been the cause of destruction today. Call it spiritual pride. We should be aware of what? Spiritual pride. So that was the clip. Um, and I hope that just as I have, I hope y'all have learned something or have even been reminded of something that the big something is how much we you and I truly need God. 